you. Welcome to Live with the Creativity Cave. I gotta get my stamp and lips. What are we feeling today? Let's see what this is. This should work. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Diane has lots of snow and high winds. Oh, so harsh for May 1st. <laughs> Kelly said she woke up to white stuff coming out of the sky and landing on her um landing on her um yeah, landing in her yard. Oh my gosh, I can't even say the words. They're just so foul. <laughs> and she also noted it was 83 in Sarasota, but I'm thinking it's not that bad. She's got a lot of work to do cuz the new catalog comes out tomorrow. <laughs> so anyway, well, I hope that you guys are all doing well. I got to warn you today, I just know today's not going to end well. I, I'll tell you about my weekend. It's a tearjerker for sure. <gasps> but um, lots of exciting things happening. Oh my goodness. So first of all, I want to tell you um, that... The last day of the current catalog is today. So if there's any last minute things that you want to get before they're gone, there's all kinds of really awesome deals and fabulous things. So make sure if you are um, interested in getting anything from that catalog, today is the last day. So uh, it is going to be exciting because tomorrow the new catalog goes live. It gonna happen overnight so like 3 a.m. stampin up time um so only only the truly hardy can stay up for that I know some of y'all are night owls but I will be asleep um and it starts tomorrow so that is exciting exciting news we have all kinds of really great things happening um along with the new catalog launch we have a new catalog kickoff party which you can get involved in it's two fabulous weeks of fun for just $15 or free for members of my team of demonstrators or um, Stamp Happy Academy members who've been members for three months or longer and we would love for you to be a part of this event it's such an awesome event um, you can uh, get registered. There's a link in the description of this video. So just click see more and you'll be able to join us. I also will officially launch my um, classes for the month tomorrow. Uh, but my online class is going to be, um, my Creativity To Go kit is going to be the brand new set. I can't even show it to you yet because it's in the catalog. Um, but I'm, it's called Gone Fishing. And it's one of my favorites. It was one I got to see when I was at the home office for my million dollar trip. It's, if you're following along, it's page 78 and 79 of your catalog. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and I have, I'm excited too, because I have a non-fishing card as part of the kit too. So that's going to be fun. Um, also, let's see, what else do I have to tell you today? There's just so many things happening. Um... What else? Oh, paper shares. Uh, I, if you want to be in the first round of paper shares, make sure you get registered today because I'll be ordering those first thing tomorrow. Um, and then I also have a new color club. I'm going to be doing a video about that probably tomorrow that will explain everything. Although if you've been in my paper, my in color club before, you know how it all works. It's, it's pretty much the same thing as I did last year, except I already have almost all the projects designed, which makes me very happy. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. There's all kinds of options for you to choose whatever version works best for you. Um, if you are already a demonstrator, you can still join the fun. Again, all of those details, uh, just drop me an email. So, okay, now I have to tell you about my day. Not my day, actually, my weekend. Okay, so as many of you know, my son runs track, right? I talk about it all the time. You see him come down here after practice. He's all sweaty and gross. The works, right? So it's been a whole thing. 
he has worked so incredibly hard um, for the last couple of years, and he's really improved. He's he's climbed his way up on the team. He's one of the leaders, and we are just so incredibly proud of him, right? So uh, he did not think that he would be able to run in the Drake Relays, which was last weekend, but uh, and the reason is because two of the four members of his relay were out with injuries, like season-long injuries, pretty much. Um, one guy is just starting back. He broke his collarbone in the first indoor meet of the year. And then the other guy has like a pretty serious, um, he actually had surgery a couple weeks ago. So so the two, the two, um, two of the top guys were out for the season. So we didn't think they would be able to do anything, right? Well, they really stepped up. Um, a guy who doesn't normally run what, what they run um, filled in. And then another guy who who just has improved tremendously really stepped up to the plate and they qualified. So like, oh my gosh, I think I told you maybe last week, like he qualified and it was so exciting. We were so proud of him. Again, worked so hard. So he got to run this weekend and um, it was, it's a really big deal. Like it's harder to qualify for that meet than it is for the state meet. So just this has been a goal for his of his for a long time. So we're at the meet. He's running Friday and Saturday. And Friday they run and um, his relay doesn't go so hot. Uh, one of the guys pulled a hamstring muscle. And so he was practically like um, hobbling to get through the end of the race. And, um, and so they came in well, last in their heat, and I don't know if they were last overall or what, so it was not great. Um, Carl ran okay, not his best time, but definitely not his worst time, so that was like a really big bummer. So he was super bummed out about that. But his the real his good race was coming up on Saturday, so we were really excited. Um, we saw him and, you know, pumped him up, and we we're so excited for him to run on Saturday. And also, by the way, it was supposed to rain this weekend, and that held off until he was done running, thank goodness, which was nice. So Saturday, <sighs> we get there Saturday morning, we're all ready, he, you know, we see him, they're lining up for the relay, there's one heat, and there's 16 teams. So um, they all start at once, and they they don't start like on blocks because it's a longer race, so they just start on a little, it's called a waterfall. So they're on the line, the gun goes off, and it's a false start. So they bring him back, and oh my gosh, you know, like my heart is just pounding, pounding, pounding. Then the gun goes off again, and... Um, they run maybe just the first few strides and two kids go down. And whenever that happens in a relay, like in the first however many meters, they restart the race. So one of the kids took a really hard hard fall and like he he had bruises all over his back and arms and shoulder. And they had to literally tape his shoe to his foot so he could run. Like it it ripped apart. I think probably what happened is is another guy tripped or tripped on him and and we call it spiked him. His spike went through this other kid's spike and like ripped it open. So there's guys on the track, like officials are on the track taping this kid's foot. So like, oh my gosh, this poor kid just went down and he's got to try and run the race with tape on his shoe. So like that was crazy. And you could tell like, I mean, he was he was beat up. I felt bad for him because, I mean, it's all at the beginning. They're all real tight. So, oh, my gosh, you know, shake it off. Like, literally, I'm trying to shake it off in the stands. Like, Ooh. okay. So they start again. The gun malfunctions. So, like, it clicks, but it doesn't bang, shoot. So they come back again. And now we're at, like, oh, my gosh, this is insanity. I've never seen anything like this before. So then they start uh, the fourth time. My son's foot was over the line and they called him for a false start. So we are just like, what just happened? They call a false start. He walks off. And, and I mean, I just can see it. Like 
everything he's worked for just fell apart. And it was so awful. I just, oh my gosh, my mama heart was just hurting for him. But it gets worse. Then the gun is like still not working. They call him back onto the track. They hand him a baton and they tell him, they're like, you're in spot 10 because his number was 10. So they put him in his spot and he gets on the track. The crowd is screaming. They booed when they kicked him out. And of course, the poor kid like thought they were booing at him because, you know, how do you know what's happening? And we're talking like a huge stadium full of people. So then they're about to line up again and the official takes him out. So they brought him back on and then they kicked him out for the second time. And then the crowd really turned on the officials. They started chanting, let him run, let him run. And I mean, oh my gosh, my husband and I were just like, what is happening? It was so awful, you guys. I can't even tell you. So they took him off. The crowd really is booing. I mean, really booing. When they let him back on, they cheered wild. And I was so, I mean, I was like screaming. And then they took him off. Well, that's where it gets bad. My mama heart just hurts for him. And I know, I don't know why I'm crying. It's a stupid race. But I just know everything that went in to getting there. So they, he walks off. And I mean, my husband and I are just like, I can't even believe this is happening. It just was so, I mean, it, if it would have been one false start, okay, fine. But it was like so many things happened over and over and over. So then he's walking off and one by one, his team members, like the guys in his relay, come up and hug him. And this is where I'm like going to lose it because, well, it's actually before that, uh, there's a video that I saw and like the guys that were lined up to race with him are patting him on the back and just like, you know, like, oh my God, you know, cause they all know like how sucky would it be if they had had to walk off. So they're patting him on the back and I'm just like, oh, you know, how sweet is that? So then his team members on his team who he has just completely let down, this four guys, you know, two of them are seniors and this is it. Like that, this was their chance and they're done. Well, those guys each come up and give him a hug. And I know they were upset, but they hugged him because, I mean, it could have been anybody. And they, I know we're so disappointed, but oh my gosh. So then I'm just really bawling. And thank goodness it was sunny because I had my sunglasses on so you couldn't see how awful I was. And... So then he, then the officials like put him across to, he had to get off the field because, you know, like the football field in the middle, they're telling him he's got to get off, it, him and his team members have to get off the um, track entirely. So they go to the far side of the track, like the opposite angle from where the start line is. And by the way, the race is already going now at this point. Finally, the fifth time they got the race off. Well... He gets to the other side of the track and they stand and they cheer on the teams that are running without them. And he's friends with like so many guys on this team. And um, so he, I mean, he genuinely, of course, wanted to race against them, but he also wanted them to do well. So he's cheering them on and like the whole stadium is just like, what just happened? And um, I mean... They have high school kids, they have college kids, and they even have like elite run, like like there's a, there were Olympians there. I mean, it's like a big flipping deal. And so the high school kids, I mean, like, oh. So anyway, he gets off and my husband and I are like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? This kid is going to be devastated. I mean, we are devastated for him. He he's we knew he would be so upset, so worried about how angry his team would be at him and all of the things. So we find him and I mean, he's just beside himself, of course. But 
person after person after person, coach, competitors, teammates, everybody kept coming up to him, like hugging him, fist bumping him, patting him on the shoulder, like, we're so sorry. The team that won, who is probably our biggest competitor, like they had a real shot of placing in the top three of this of this um, race, whereas they weren't even expected to go at the beginning of the season. So they um, were coming up to him and saying, we can't wait to race against you again. I could not stop crying. It was so brutal, you guys. Oh my gosh. And I mean, he's got a really strong competitive fight, but he's such a good sport. Like he truly is friends with a lot of his competitors. <sighs> it was such a mo an emotional day. Oh my gosh. And then we had to drive home three hours <laughs> after all that. <sighs> so anyway, I know I have you crying. I still, I mean, this happened a couple days ago. I thought I was over it, but I'm still crying about it. Anyway, it was just unbelievable. And so now he has three more meets. He has like his his conference meet this week. He's got the meet to see who goes to state next week and then the state meet the week after. And there will be a rematch of this race with the guys that won to get to state. So like they've got to run <laughs> Really good to get to state, which I know they can do because right now they're ranked fifth, except they didn't run. So I think their time still like is fifth in the state and um, in the whole state, not just like our part of the state. So <sighs> you guys, it was just like, oh my gosh. Anyway, that was my weekend. <laughs> so we get home on Saturday, like in the middle, well, in the evening. And I, like, I missed some work because of the meet. So I was like, okay, I should probably work. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do anything. So, and yesterday I couldn't get, I didn't get, I got a little bit done, but not everything that I needed to be done. So I'm still behind. Anyway, that is my story. So crazy. <coughs> and I know... I don't know. He might be mad that I told you about it. So we'll see. <laughs> but um, he he was really bummed yesterday still. And um, oh, bah. but it just is it's it was just awful. So today <laughs> he had he had to get up early because he had an AP test um, this morning, an AP government test. And I'm hoping that went well. I think it will. I, he's doing really well. But um, I think he's he's got three AP tests coming up before state happens over the next couple weeks. So, so it's a busy time for school, for track. I just can't even tell you guys how hard this kid works. I mean, so we ran yesterday. We ran into one of the moms whose son was on the relay with him and she's like how's he doing and I'm like oh he's still pretty bummed out she's like what and I said I think he's worried the guys are mad at him and she's like they are not and I was like oh, I don't know um I know they're really they're really nice about it but I mean it was a big bummer I know if he would have been switched like with one of the guys he would have really felt for him but he would have been pretty bummed out not to be running so the good news is, is he still has, um, he's got three more meets left of the season. So fingers are crossed that things go well. No more false starts. And now I am going to be a mess <laughs> at the next meets. They better be sunny because if I, if something happens, I am for sure going to be a basket case. <sighs> but anyway... Um, so enough about that. Uh, I will keep you posted with how it goes. So I did not post a lot about, um, the meet because I didn't even know what to do. <coughs> but again, I'm so incredibly proud of the sport that he is, the sportsman that he is. 
And I know it was just so brutal that, I mean, literally he, he came home late that night and he said, well, at least I had the whole stadium behind me and he really did. So it was just crazy anyway. All right. So <laughs> that was so, um, so brutal. And you know, I, somebody said the officials were wrong. I don't know. It just was, I mean, he probably did false start. I think his foot was over the line from what I heard. I wasn't, we were, we were, um, we were way back from where that, where the start line was. So we couldn't see all of that. But, um, I think he, I think he was in the wrong, but there were so many other things that went wrong. It's kind of like, oh, just, just let him go. Like, like in an 800, having your foot over the line is nothing. It's not like he was getting some kind of unfair advantage or something crazy like that. It just, it just was just insane. Anyway. Okay. Like I said, I'm done. I do have some fun projects for you. Um, we are going to do kind of some old meets new and uh, share some some fun things uh, featuring some product products from our brand new catalog. So the new catalog starts tomorrow. And um, if you are interested in any of the things that I have coming up, all those links are in the description of this video. Click see more somewhere around there <laughs> at the bottom. You should be able to see, see more and um, you'll be able to see all of the things. Okay, so <sighs> I am going to, um, I am going to start. So, okay, this is funny. I was working on a project before I popped on and um, I got a phone call and so I didn't finish the project. So we're going to kind of wing it <laughs> and see what we can come up with. Um... And, and then, uh, you can tell me what you think. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I think it'll be okay. Um, and it's going to feature the new in colors. So we've got five new in colors. These are pebbled path, boho blue, copper clay, moody mauve, and wild wheat. I was going to say wild west, but that's not it. Wild wheat. Uh, these are our brand new in colors and I I like them. Um, I I think I've heard a lot of people say they're they're not so sure about them, but I I am sure. I think they're really trendy. Now I think it's a little different this year because they're um, they're not like uh, last year's really bright happy colors. These are a little bit more moody, like moody mauve is really a good name for it, but they are, they are going to be really fun, I think, to work with, especially with fall. Um, obviously fall's a little ways away, but it'll be here before you know it. So I think it's going to be kind of fun. I really do like them, um, especially the cardstock, the cardstock's so pretty. So we're going to play with those. And then we're also going to try out a couple of new things. Like I said, um, the new catalog goes live and it's just going to be great. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to flip my camera. So hold on. There we go. All right. Um, I've got my little papers for you. So the new catalog kickoff party is going to be uh, starting on the 4th. So if you are not registered for that, there is a link in the description of this video. You can join us for an amazing um, event. I, I posted the tentative schedule today in the kickoff group. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. It's pinned to the featured uh, tab in the catalog, or I'm sorry, in the kickoff group. If you haven't joined us, like I said, there's a link in the description of this video, um, and it's going to be a really awesome event. I've uh, once again partnered with my besties, Barb and Kelly, to bring you a really great event where there's going to be seven exclusive lives. Oh, it's going to be great um, throughout this two-week period. Um, oh, watercolor stamp camp. It's just never too late for that. Oh, we've been doing so, or we've been having such a good time. I've had daily uh, challenges 
each day to paint something, um, which has been really fun. There's a new one that posted today. I can't wait to show you my version of that. Okay. Then, uh, as mentioned, paper shares are going to be ordered tomorrow if you want to get in on the first round. Um, so make sure you get registered. There's a link in the description of this video for that. And I do have a free card kit if you get registered by today, the end of the day today. So get in on it. Um, I will also send an email out yet tonight um, as a reminder. Yeah, this is old. And this is old. Okay, so uh, we I will also have an ordering special, will, which will be posted first thing tomorrow. I will also have... Um, my, I guess I didn't have an in color club sheet, did I? Oh, I thought I had one of those. Um, and I also have a new All Star tutorial PDF featuring the brand new Country Side In Suite, which is this bundle. And um, I will have a blog hop on Wednesday featuring this, which is going to be really cool. I can't wait for you to see my project. Okay. Um, now, so our first card, as mentioned, is going to fe feature these new in colors. Now, one of the things that I have like historically had a lot of uh, questions on is when to use very vanilla cardstock. So we're going to use very vanilla with these kind of earthy colors, and I think they're going to be really awesome. Okay, so I'm going to start with some boho blue. And I'm going to use the Bottled with Happiness. So I'm, like I said, I'm doing kind of old meets new. And this was a set that came out a year ago and is still one of my faves. I have not pulled it out in a little while. So, or like my, like the kids say in a hot second, my daughter loves saying that. I don't know if like most of my life is a cold second or what. I'm, I'm not sure what the definition of a hot second is, but... <laughs> Do you guys, do your kids say stuff and you're just like, what? <laughs> Mine do. Okay, but I actually want to start with my sentiment first. <laughs> okay. So this one, <laughs> maybe I should make another one of these with the sentiment. This one says, I just want to hug you. Um, and while I don't know that my, my son would appreciate a card with a bottle of... Um, a bottle of uh, whatever this is, flowers. Um, it's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to stamp this right about here on my card. That's boho blue. Okay, and then I don't know if I'm going to use all of the colors, but I've got my two pieces of this kind of two-step stamp and so I like kind of putting them on here first I think I'm going to use copper mm. moody mm, 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 mm. I think moody mauve yeah I think moody mauve all right so I'm gonna put that on there like so okay and then I'm going to add my leaves to this and they are just going to fit kind of right in the center and I'm lining up the center of the flowers with the flower centers. <laughs> totally. Okay. And I'm going to pick that stamp up and I'm going to do my um, pebbled path. Okay, so here we go. This is hard to do with my camera in the way, but I think I'm getting it. All right. There we are. Not bad. All right. So, uh, I love this. Now, I'm also going to take, and it does sort of kill me because we don't have all the new embellishments at our fingertips quite yet, but I do have a few. Um, these are the in color dots. They're kind of like the glassy dots, but they're um, with the in colors. So I'm gonna use just a couple of these in here, like so. 
like one, two, and maybe one more. Okay. All right. So I've got just a couple of those dots in there. Oh, so cute. Okay. Now what I want to do is take and um, layer this up all nice and fancy. Um, we've got some new um, in color DSP. Oh, but this is white, I bet, isn't it? Yep, it is a white base. So <laughs> we're not gonna use that, Never mind. Oh, but I know what I have, sorry. <laughs> also have some new Daisy DSP. Oh my gosh, you guys. Our uh, make and takes for the new catalog kickoff are going to have some of this uh, paper in them. So look at that. That's fun. Ooh, but I think I want a blue pattern, which I'm pretty sure there is. Da -da 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 -da. Yes. Look at that. So this is kind of cool because it's a couple of different colors of blue. We've got, I think, az Azure Afternoon, but the Boho is kind of mixed in here. So I'm going to pull out a little piece that's more of the Boho section. And we're going to add this. So I think I'm going to do like uh, an inch. Okay. And we'll add it to the side of our card or our side of our panel like this. Okay. And I'll trim the excess off and then we're going to add a layer of cardstock to this. Except I can't remember. This is three and three quarters. Okay, so we're gonna do three and seven eighths. Okay. By five, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So lucky for us, I've got the rest of our cardstock cut for the rest of the projects. This was just kind of my last minute card. Okay, so three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, which is gonna go right on here. And here's one of the things that I love about these little in color dots is they're really flat. Like they just don't have that much height to them. So they mail really great. Okay, next we're gonna add a little bit of ribbon to this and we've got this beautiful um, textured ribbon so I've got boho blue or I've got the pebbled path and I'm kind of thinking pebbled path because I'm going to do um, my card in pebbled path and that'll just sort of tie it all together because you know I like doing that okay now this will create a lump but it's worth it Okay, so I'm just going to scooch this over a little bit off to the side. Okay, and then because I am sneaky, I'm going to show you uh, what I'm going to do for the inside of my card because I do kind of love this. Let's get the sharp scissors out for cutting this ribbon. All right. Now, as mentioned, my card base is um, Boho Blue, which is just so pretty. Okay. And... All righty. So gorgeous. I did smudge a little ink there somehow. 
that makes me a little mad. Okay. There we go. Now for the inside of our card, um, we'll put in our usual four by five and a quarter panel, if I can grab it, um, of vanilla. Um, but we've got this designer series paper here. So I thought it would be kind of cool if we stamped on this piece just a little bit and um, we're going to, I'm going to grab my scrap here. We're going to stamp on it with, um, with our flower stamp. So let me quick clean this off. I'm going to change to my uh, boho blue again. And I'm just going to stamp on here to about there. I dented it with my fingernail, you know, to carefully measure. <laughs> so now it coordinates because you can stamp on designer series paper. Don't forget that. Um, I think I've got about an inch, which is kind of a lot, but it will work. And you could add a sentiment to the inside of this. Um, I am using the Happy Labels. So this is a set that's continuing on in the catalog. Um, and I just love this. So I think like you could add, you've got the biggest heart or um, I just want to hug you. Um, you are my happy place. Love you and miss you. Um, there's no one like you. I mean, you could add any of these to the inside. So... All right, um, then I shall put this on the inside and we have just a lovely card with new in colors and an old stamp set. <laughs> so isn't that pretty? It's a really nice color combo. Um, so I think you guys will like this. And I really like, especially these three colors, the boho, the Moody Mauve and the Pebbled um, Path. I think they're great colors together. Did I say that right? Pebbled Path. Yes. <laughs> I was like, ooh, is that right? Or isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's right. Okay, so that's my first card. Kind of fun. Okay, let's get rid of some of this stuff because I've already made a giant mess and we have only made one card so far. <laughs> All right, next up, I've got a really sweet card. Um, this is with an adorable bundle called Zany Zoo. Ooh, sorry. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. We'll, we'll know as soon as I pull the set in here. <laughs> okay. Okay, so for this card, we are going to start with a white card base. And yes, this is called Zany Zoo. It's just the sweetest bundle. There is um, a whole bunch of coordinating pieces. And then what just really makes this bundle amazing is there are dies that cut out several of the shapes in there's both stamped um, images for these as well as designer series paper pieces. So let me pull out uh, some of the paper because it's just, it's really cute. So look at that elephant. Oh my gosh. There's an aardvark. <laughs> there's a koala. Um, there's a dog. Okay, then on this piece, there is... This silly, whatever this is, ostrich, emu, whatever, a bunny, a fox, an alligator, um, an anteater. I mean, there's just, it's just almost too much. Did I say aardvark? Is that what that is? Armadillo. You know. 
Um, so anyway, such cute paper. And then on the back of all the papers is a black and white pattern. So it's really fun. And you know I'm all about the black and white pattern. So let's make a card with this. So I thought this was a really sweet birthday card. This could go for a boy or a girl, a kid or an adult. It's just so cute. And um, so I'm going to start with a thick white card base. Then I've got a four by five and a quarter panel of Pool Party, which is one of the coordinating colors here in my panel. Um, then I cut a one and a half inch strip of the designer series paper um, with this is just the other side of actually this pattern. But this is great for like all those partial pieces that go down the side that you can't use the whole thing of. So I cut it off of that. I'm going to put that on here at the bottom here. And I'm going to tuck in this cute little scalloped border that comes with the set. And I love it because it's it's still kind of whimsical. The border, the scallop border is whimsical. Like seriously, it's because it's more of like a wave than like a scallop. I don't know. So we're we're just going to put it in here like this. And oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. And I'll trim the ends here in just a sec. But before I do, before I add this piece, what I wanted to do is stamp the sentiment on here, which is happy birthday to you. And I thought I would stamp it um, a few times in some pool party ink to sort of create a little bit of a background. Okay. So I'm just going to stamp full strength and stamped off a few times to create my background. I just love doing this because it's such an easy way to kind of build a, a basic background uh, on your card to just kind of fill up the space. You know, and so easy. I mean, so easy. Okay. Except I'm almost 100% sure I was supposed to do it like this. I'm like, this is not working quite right. Trust me when I tell you this is how it's supposed to go. Okay, well, actually, I didn't... Oh, I have to do it on this side, that's why. Huh. Two sides to every sheet of paper, remember that? Thank goodness, right? Okay. So, like I said, we're going to put this strip of DSP on the side of our panel. It's one and a half inches wide. And then we'll tuck this in here in just a minute. But first, we want to create this really cool background when you stamp the stamp both full strength and stamped off. Full strength and stamped off. Look at how that goes. All right. So... Now we've created this super cute little background. <laughs> you really could do it either way, but um, there was a reason why I liked it this way better because I, I know when I was working on this, I tried it both ways and this is the way I preferred. Um, I think it just gives you a little bit more room. And then we can put a happy birthday to you up there so you can read it very clearly. All right, I'm gonna throw a little adhesive on here slide it in like this and then we'll trim off the excess like so there we go all right so then we're going to pop this up and add it to our card. We could even make sure its little tail stays up with a little, little dimensional. You know how I like to pop stuff up on my cards. It's just because it's so dang cute. Now in this Zany Zoo suite, look at that! Seriously, 
Okay, so in this Zany Zoo Suite, we also have some ribbon. It's a ribbon combo pack, duo, ribbon duo combo pack, um, which has some of the Lemon Lime Twist and then the Petal Pink. So I'm going to use some Lemon Lime Twist on this card. And... We're going to put this in here. Now, if you are enjoying this video, please give me the thumbs up. I would just be so grateful. Um, it really helps me with the YouTube when you like my videos and then, of course, when you comment. So whether you're watching this live right now with me or you're watching the replay later on after a hard day, of work and I made you cry at the beginning, the thumbs up would be so appreciated. <laughs> or if you're like, oh, for the love, if she's ever going to stop talking about her kid and track, I know. But you guys, it's, there's only, there's only two more seasons of running left. The rest of this season, cross country and his senior year of track, senior year of cross country, senior year of track. So my, I have only one more year of talking about track. And I'm going to savor every second of it because <laughs> I know, I know it won't last. Oh my God, isn't that just so cute? Oh, okay. So, and I know y'all are um, his stamping aunties. You've been, <laughs> some of you have literally watched my kids grow up. I uh, always giggle. Carl used to, when I did classes in my house, Carl used to come downstairs in his underwear when he was a little kid. To say goodnight before bed <laughs> when I was doing a class with the ladies. So that always made me giggle. But look at how stinking cute this is, you guys. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> these Zany Zoo um, creatures are so cute. We've got the llama, or actually it's like an alpaca knitting. We've got the little alligator. We've got our like raccoon, right? That's what that is. Um, we've got a skunk maybe. Uh, a turtle and a little kitty cat in a tutu. I mean, who does not like a kitty cat in a tutu? I don't even like cats, but this is cute because <laughs> of the tutu. <laughs> so anyway, I think this is just such a cute set. And then, of course, there's even more animals with the designer series paper. And then the dies have lots of cute little additional pieces um, in here, like little flowers and trees and and all kinds of things, balloons and whatnot, and a little bit um banner thingy so yeah super cute love it adorable okay so there's that one next up we've got a really fun um set of dsp and i guess fun is maybe not exactly the right terminology for it i would say beautiful set of dsp this was like the first um product when we when we got to see the new catalog on my home office visit uh, in March, the first product I actually got to see was featuring um, the Countryside Inn uh, suite, which I mentioned earlier. Um, it goes with this bundle. I'm not actually going to use this on this card, but this designer series paper goes along with this or coordinates with this. By the way, that bundle is so amazing. Um, it, I've played with that part the most so far, and I really like it. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start with a Knight of Navy card base. And what I really wanted to feature in this um, card was this new designer series paper. It's just so pretty. This is going to coordinate with Knight of Navy Boho Blue um, misty moonlight and balmy blue so it's kind of an interesting color combination with all those different blues mixed in so I'm going to add um this is a three and a half by four and three quarters inch piece of designer series paper I'm going to attach it to balmy blue this time um balmy blue cardstock because I love the pop it's kind of like a bright pop of color on here of blue which is really pretty and we're going to add this to our card I've also got a half of an inch uh, strip of a different pattern of this designer series paper that again has that balmy blue panel and we're going to just adhere it to uh, a scrap of balmy blue cardstock so we've got the balmy blue DSP or a pattern with balmy blue 
DSP and um, the Balmy Blue cardstock to just add a skinny little layer. Now the hardest part of this whole process is getting this on here even because it's a skinny little border. So this is a half inch and then my strip is more like five eighths of an inch ish. I say ish because when it gets skinny like that, it's hard to know for sure. And I, I'm not going to lie when I say I eyeballed it a little. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm just going to pop this up onto my card here. And then I've got a sentiment um, that I'm going to add to this. My sentiment is from a new set called Wonderful Thoughts. And this is a really beautiful set. It comes with um, dies to cut out the words. Though I'm not actually going to use the dies on my card today. I didn't. Um, I just chose not to, but you for sure could. I just liked this pretty little look. And then I'm going to add um, another strip of this with um, that DSP for the inside of my card as well. And I thought I had cut a coordinating layer of balmy blue cardstock, but I guess not. So we'll just go with the DSP. It's all good. Now there's also um, another stamp set that coordinates with this as well called Lasting Joy. Um, I'm not using it on this project, but it is part of the suite. Anyway, uh, Wonderful Thoughts is, like I said, a really nice set. It reminds me of, um, we had a set like this out uh, in the last catalog called uh, charming sentiments. So this is wonderful thoughts. So it has all the dies that cut out each, um, each sentiment. And then it also has kind of some cool little labely pieces as well as this, like there's hearts, um, a long border that fits the sentiment and then this kind of cool flower die cut. So anyway, it's a, it's a great sentiment or a great bundle. And also, can we just talk about how crooked that is? <laughs> Thankfully, our seal is repositionable for a spell, <laughs> and we can put card stock onto our card straight. Whew, that's a lot better. Okay, I'm going to put this on the inside. Now, what I did do instead of die cutting just the word, I wanted it to stand out a little bit more on my card. So I die cut a little label. This is from the Something Fancy bundle and the Something Fancy dies. Um, but I'm using, like I said, the sentiment. It says thinking of you and it's just so pretty. So I think I'm going to do that in Night of Navy ink because I think that'll just look really nice on this Night of Navy card. And then we're just going to add it to our card like so. And again, um, just really simple. Oh, wait, but before I do that, uh, I'm going to bring out some of our old ribbon. This is the, I think, bordered ribbon. Is that what it's called? Yes, bordered ribbon. Um, this is just beautiful ribbon. And we're going to just put a bow at the top. Either the top or the bottom. We'll decide. So this was in the mini catalog, but it's it uh, carried over into the annual catalog, which always makes me happy. So I think I might put it down here. Make that just a little bit smaller. And we'll put it down here. So cute. Or like that. Oh. How do we decide? I kind of like it right there. Okay. Now this does tie um, relatively flat, which I love. And we'll find a glue dot for this and add it to my card. Now, uh, like I said, I don't have any, There's, I don't have a ton of new embellishments yet. We do have these dots, which I guess we could use. We could throw a couple of these dots on there. This will work. These are like glassy dots, but they're in the new in colors, which love. 
Okay, so I'm going to put a couple of those on here. Do you guys ever stress about where to put dots? I do. <laughs> Maybe one more small one, and we'll put it up there. Okay, so just a fun little touch to our card. And there's the inside. Um, there is... There are like sentiments. Let's see where did our set go. So we've got thinking of you. Um, you're wonderful. You're loved. You matter. That could go on the inside. You've come so far and accomplished so much. That could go on the inside. It's okay to fall apart. I'm still here for you. That would work. You are much appreciated. I mean, all of so many of these sentiments are kind of interchangeable um, and work nicely with one another on the inside or the outside. Um, this is kind of sweet. I'll listen to your silence when words are just too much. So that's another thing. You could put any of these on the inside, um, of this card. I think I'm going to wait in case, uh, I need something specific for this one. I could throw it in, um, at the last minute. So there you go. All right. Now we have one final card and this one is, uh, really sweet as well. It is going to feature um, Crafting With You bundle, which is super sweet. This is um, one of the Million Dollar Stamp Sets. I think it's Jessica Taylor's. No, Irene Wendland. Um, and I love this set so much. It's really a, a wonderful... Um, a really wonderful stamp set. So let's put this together. Now I am um, going to start with a piece of white. I have embossed it with one of those basics embossing folders that came out recently as part of the online exclusives. Um, this piece is four and three quarters by three and a half. I'm going to adhere it to a layer of basic black which I believe is five by three and three quarters. Okay. Then I've got a crumb cake card base. We'll give that a good crease and we'll adhere this to the top. Now for my card or for my, yeah, for this card, we are going to put on here. I die cut some of the pieces. This has really fun dies that go with it. Um, they are, uh, there's a variety of crafts in here. Let me pull the dies out so I can show you. So I've got these, um, these spools and we're going to actually add some, um, thread to them. So these are like I'm using baker's twine, but these are like thread spools, right? Am I saying that right? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's right. Okay. So now there is actually a little die that looks like wound thread that you can die cut like in different colors and add them to the top of these spools. But I am going to just actually wrap mine with thread. Okay. So I'm taking the in color Baker's twine, which we've got. So there's my old and that's going to uh, be what I wrap around here. And it's pretty easy to do with the glue dot. Okay. And you might need an extra glue dot. I'm going to probably just let mine go like that. And it's nicely kind of stuck to the back. So we can repeat that with our different colors because it's pretty quick and easy to do. I might even put two on the back here because then I can really get the both ends kind of stuck down on here. So next I'll use some sweet sorbet. And uh, whether you have a friend who is crafty in the card making arena or in sewing or knitting, um, there's a little or like other art 
type things, there's a little something in this set for you. So like there's paintbrushes for artists, there's uh, baskets and balls of yarn for knitting, there's a sewing machine, there's a paper trimmer. Um, it really, uh, oh, there's a cross stitch needle hoop. So there's all kinds of stuff for this that really works. Now is that? Okay. <laughs> Gotta do my starry sky. Gotta make sure I get all the colors in here. So it's really fun stuff. So I'm just gonna go back and see. Okay. So this really just takes a second and two glue dots. And by the way, you can die cut four of these spools at once. So that's lovely. I love when they have multiples for little things like this that you would want multiples of. Such clever thinking. Stamp it up. Okay. Trim that. Look at how cute these are. All right. And of course, this does not require very much twine, which is great. All right. I'm just looking to see if there's any comments or questions. Hello, Rosemary. Don't forget, if you could give me the thumbs up, that would be great. Oh, somebody gave me a tip. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. I appreciate that so much. Oh. Let's see. Holly says, not sure what to do with the country side in bundle. Oh, Holly, come back on Wednesday. Just you wait. Oh my gosh. All right. So here we are with our Tahitian Tide. It could go for Tahitian Tide right about now. I don't know about you. It was um, false spring last week and a couple weeks ago. And it was like nature's, mother nature's fury <laughs> this past few days. It's been super cold and windy but I can't complain too much because I do not have snow we got rain sleet and slush but no well not really slush but no snow so I'm grateful for that and today it's sunny thank goodness yesterday was dreary which was kind of a bummer because we were all feeling dreary around here um, but today the sun has been out and it's been nice and bright um, which has definitely helped improve the mood around these parts. So uh, that's been a good thing. All righty. Now we've got all of our spools. Okay. So I wanted to take, and we're going to add these um, to our card, but I wanted to do just a little... Um, Oh, my sentiments are right here in front of me. <laughs> um, I wanted to stamp uh, a little bit on here. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to take an old punch and a new punch. So I've got my uh, wavy circle punch. I think that's what this is called. And I've got a scrap of basic white here. So I'm going to stamp or punch that. And then um, we have our fabulous new two and three eighths inch circle punch, which is just like oh, all the wonderful things. And I was supposed to punch that out of the center of my black panel, which I forgot, but we'll do that right here. And look at how these two layer so nicely together. Yay. I love that. So um, I think I'm going to do this like this. All right, on here, what I want to do is add a little flower image, and I think I'm going to, let's just color 
that in with our markers. I don't normally color with markers, but I think we can do it today. Um, let's do a couple different colors here. So we've got three flowers, four flowers. Oh, maybe we can get all of them on here. How convenient would that be? Um, I don't typically like coloring with markers. It's just not my style. There's nothing wrong with it, but like I said, it's just not my thing. But here we go. Now these are uh, Stampin' Write markers, not Stampin' Blends. You cannot color on your rubber or photopolymer with blends. Uh, it just doesn't work. It dries too quickly and it's the wrong type of ink. And then last but not least, the leaves. So look at, I can get all five in colors on this one flower little bundle. Okay, <sighs> gotta huff on it. And then we'll stamp this right in the center like that. Oh, that did not stamp that great, but that's okay because we're gonna color, cover this up with our sentiment. In fact, <sighs> I huffed on it again and we're gonna do the stamped off ink on here. Oh, that looks terrible too. See, this is why I don't like stamping on or coloring with markers. But we're gonna power through because we're gonna stamp our sentiment right over the top of this. And then we're going to, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> um, ooh. Then we're gonna add our little spools on top of this. Okay, we need all the colors though. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so I think I will pop this up onto my card, cause I mean, hello. Obviously that's the right thing to do here. And then using glue dots, we shall add this to our card. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to start with my um, sweet sorbet. Then I'm going to add each of these little spools on here, kind of at an angle, just for fun. And I'll have the, kind of the ribbon end sticking out on different part, you know, different places. So they're not all exactly the same. And There we go. So there is my card. Sending you a handmade hug. I still don't like that stamping. That didn't turn out so hot. Um, I think it's, yeah, I think this would have stamped better with an ink pad, but it is what it is. It's just a little, a little color on there. Um, and then on the inside, we can add our layer here. And um, there's a sentiment in here that says, life is better when you're crafting. And there's a little flower. So let's add that to the inside of our card. Okay, and then our cute little flower. And I'm just gonna do maybe a couple of these. Clean this really quick. Like 
so. And then, really quick, I'm going to take and put a little bit of, this is Seal Plus, it's a little stronger. going to use little lengths of this. Each time to decorate. So like we often put DSP uh, strips in here. Oops, got to use the sharp scissors. Um, so in this case, instead of the DSP, we're just going to put the twine and it's just kind of a fun way of using this twine because you get tons in a package and it looks super cute and it's really easy to add this little chunk on here. much fun is this. Okay, so let's get that adhered in our card like so and how fun is that so I'm a little disappointed with the flower behind here but I love my little spools I think they're just so cute and they really did not take very long to wrap so that is just wonderful this is such a cute set um the trim there's a trimmer in here with this is even like the little cutting thing um, there's a pair of snips. There is a stamp and cut emboss machine, a sewing machine, like I said, the basket and the knitting. Here's another basket. Um, all kinds of cute little pieces uh, to die cut. And then, of course, we've got the little embroidery hoop and the um, whatever this thing is, ruler. <laughs> buttons, all kinds of fun stuff. So anyway, a really sweet set. I think you'll be seeing plenty of this uh, coming. So let me show you my other projects. So we made a mess. First off, <laughs> we made this thinking of you with the new countryside in suite. Um, I've got a brand new all-star tutorial uh, PDF coming out um, that you can purchase for $15 or get for free with a $50 purchase in my online store. I will also have an ordering special, which I'll be posting either later today or tomorrow morning. Um, when you order through my online store for $75 or more, you'll get the PDF plus a gift out of the new catalog. Um, we made this cute little zany zoo card. So sweet. And then this cute little um, in colors or a few of the in colors with uh, the old bottled. Ooh, what is that set called again? Bottled with happiness, I think. I can't even remember something like that, right? Bottled happiness, help. I have the set out here somewhere. I just can't find it because, like I said, bottled happiness. We made a giant mess today. <laughs> My desk was really clean before I started, but we'll get it. We'll get it back into shape. So thank you guys so much for being here. The thumbs up would rock my world. If you would like paper shares. Oh my gosh, there's more tips. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Um, if you would like to get involved in the kickoff event, the paper share, the in color club, or my classes this month, you can um, just click or there's links in the description of here. Many of them, you just need to email me and I'll send you the link. Um, otherwise, 
There is a link for the paper share in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for stamping with me. You will see me a couple more times here on the YouTube yet this week. So watch for that. And I hope you have a great week. We'll see you soon, friends. Bye.